Hey, Rob Rose is here. Today, it's a gorgeous day. I decided I'm going to put the final coat of paint on a project I've been working on, on this here bass guitar. A while back, I ended up picking up a Squire Jazz Bass, almost eight, ten years back or so. I ended up picking up a Squire Jazz Bass uh, off of Craigslist. Tore all the guts out of it with the intention of redoing it and, you know, making it nice and putting brand new pickups and stuff in it. And it literally sat for a couple of years, actually a few years, about ten years now, uh, because I am super lazy. To, uh, lately, ever since the quarantine, I decided, hey, you know, I've got this time, I've got the project, so I've ordered in some parts. I decided to strip this down. It originally had a black poly on it, because that's normal what comes on these kind of guitars. and Or a poly, I should say. But anyway, uh, it was black. I stripped it all down, took all the guts out of it. I've since lost all of the guts, all the pots and everything, all the everything. The only thing I have left is the neck, which I'm actually not going to salvage because the fretboard is coming up. And I'm pretty sure I could get some adhesive and, and re-glue it, but I think I'm just going to end up actually just buying a brand new neck. So today my materials uh, will be some water. Uh, this is a sanding sponge that I believe, I want to say, is 220 maybe, I think. It feels like it is. And the paint I'm using is the Krylon All-in-One Satin Beach Glass. It's uh, really nice. It's got this nice satin finish, which is nice because apparently, because when I go to put the clear coat on, I need something to uh, to be able to have the, the clear coat grip to. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to sand back some of the high spots that were on the original paint. And I'm going to paint it again. And um, I'm going to let it set for two more days, get another sanding, and then hopefully by then I will have my clear coat. So I will now go and... So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, start start spraying. So I want to take this opportunity to uh, point out something. I don't know if you can see it on the camera because it's really, really, really bright. Uh, and I'll hopefully it can when it comes through. If, I don't know if you noticed, but there's like right here along where the body contour is. It's really strange because right on this ridge is a what looks to be a different tone or a different shade of the of the color. I did two coats originally with one can, and then I went back to the store like. 
a week later and picked up another can. So it is very likely that the two cans that I picked up were not from the same pigment run. Uh, that happens. So the two cans that I picked up may not have necessarily been from the same pigment run, uh, which sucks because it looks as if I have two different shades of color on this, which kind of sucks, but I mean, it just means that now the <laughs> newer shade that I bought is gonna be the shade that shows up on the base. Yeah, look, you can even see, oh, you can really see it. Like, so where I sanded it off, I mean, I I don't know if you can see it on the film, but again, where I sanded it off really shows up. Now, the interesting thing is, depending on how I sand it and stuff, that might be kind of cool, because that might look neat. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm going for something specific with this. I'm going for this kind of, like, surf kind of fendery, kind of bold color, that, that surfy kind of Southern California color you'd see on, like, a fucking Chevy or something. And I'm going to do a, you know, a black pick guard, regular chrome control panel, a black bridge. So I'm going for, like, a, a kind of an interesting design. It looks like, it honestly, it almost looks like it's road-worn, but it's just because it's like two different shades of the same paint. It's really fantastic. Oh, that, they're fantastic, I guess, yeah, too, but it's really fascinating. So one of the other things, because again, this is my third coat, I've been paying really close attention to the edges of the guitar, because when I sand, that seems to be where I have most of my issues, where sand is not, or where uh, paint is not taking. I did put a primer down. I put two coats of primer down. Uh, same kind of primer, Krylon base primer, and this paint also has a primer in it, but for some reason, when I sand it back, like here, for example, I don't know if you can see it right, but on that edge there is a little bit of paint coming up, and then right here, or rather I should say where primer is coming up, uh, we're showing through, not coming up. So I need to hit those edges again, and then I think when I come back in two days and uh, hit this again with the sandpaper, maybe I'll uh, just go a little easier on it this time, and then at that point, I've given it four coats of paint. I'd call it a day, and I'd just clear coat. If it looks road-worn, it looks road-worn. That, that'd be cool as fuck, but right now, this is what I'm gonna do. So the next step then is to uh, is to get painting. All right, so I don't have a fancy spray booth, so basically what I've been doing doing is I have some junk in the shop here and I took three pieces of PVC pipe left over from a previous project sunk two big pieces of rebar into the ground uh, so right now like I said what I'm gonna do is start spraying and I hit some of those spots that I had said that I didn't like because I keep hitting them and then you know like I said I'm gonna see what the paint looks like because like I said I think there's two shades of paint so I don't think I got paint in the same room oh well so let's start painting All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we are now just gonna let it sit in the sun for 20 minutes. And the can says to either do a second, or I should say another coat, um, either two hours or 48 hours. So it's either within two hours or two days. So what I've done, this is now the fourth coat. I've now had this uh, sit for two weeks uh, in between coats. Well, not in between coats, but like I did a coat and two days later I did one, then another coat three days later because it was raining and then weather conditions and da 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 But anyway, so this, been, this uh, guitar has been being painted for now two weeks. And this is the last and final coat that I think I'm gonna put on it. So four coats, that's it, I'm done. Uh, then the next after this will be the clear coat. So we're like, so we're gonna sit and here's a couple of the spots that I hopefully was able to fix, like the paint rubs off on. But hopefully, I'm just gonna, like I said, I'll give this a wet sanding next time, really, really fine. Actually, I may even just hit this with like thousand grit so that I'm not even bothering to uh, even take any material off other than like the high spots. And then that's it. And then I'll uh, get some clear coat and uh, I'll be back out here to clear coat this whenever that comes in and such. So, yeah.